friends and welcome to Obsidian Soft. Today, I will show you how you can copy camera images to the phone gallery and also delete camera pictures. The pictures taken by MIT App Inventors camera component don't automatically show up in the phone gallery. I tried restarting my phone but still they didn't appear in the phone gallery. So I tried copying the camera pictures to the shared pictures folder and this worked. And the best thing is that I didn't even need an extension for this. So I thought that I should share my experience. I have tested my solution on an older device with Android 11 and a new device with Android 14 and this worked on both. And I have tested it using the companion app and I've also installed it on the two devices. So it worked in all situations. Using the same approach, you can also delete pictures taken by the camera component. Let's have a look at the demo. So you can see that I'm taking a picture and when I click the save gallery button, it is now coming in my phone gallery, okay? Now let's try delete. Let's take a picture again. If I click on delete, now you can see that it's no more appearing in my image component and it's not even in my phone gallery. So let's begin. Let's start a new project. I'm just going to call it save Dell pics and keep the toolkit default. This is very important. Today, my focus is on the code, so I will not spend too much time on the screen. Just add an image component and make its width fill parent. And I'm just going to give it a height of 70%. And I need a horizontal arrangement for the buttons. So from layout, a horizontal arrangement, I'm just going to make the width fill parent and I'm going to add a few buttons on it. So the first one is my camera button. So, you know, I need to rename it so that I can differentiate between all the buttons. So camera button, just change the text to camera. This will open up our camera. Another button. So this is our basically save button and it will be actually saving to the phone gallery so save to gallery and the third button is our delete button so rename it to delete button and change the text accordingly to delete and from media we need a camera component and from sensors, we need a clock, okay? And I'm going to turn off timer always fires and timer enabled in its properties. We just need the clock to get the current time for the timestamp for our image names for the phone gallery, okay? And last but not the least, from storage, we need the file component, okay? So our simple screen design is done. So let's go to the block section. I need a global variable image path and this is for storing the image path returned by the camera component after it takes a picture, okay? And we need another global variable so I can duplicate it and this is my temp image name. Right click, duplicate. So there are a lot of birds outside my window. Final image name, okay? Now, when the camera button is clicked, we are going to call camera's procedure, camera components procedure for taking a picture, okay? Let me put it here. And let's clean up the code, okay? This call will trigger the camera components after picture event. And this is the path 
Now, this is not the actual image. If you have worked with camera component before, this is not the picture. This is just the path. So I want to store this path, okay, into my global image path variable, okay, because I need it in the save button and in the delete button code, okay. Next, I am also going to set my image components picture property to this image okay so this also needs the path to the image okay so remember this is not the actual image it's just the path okay after this camera dot after picture event we come to the important part that is our save button code save button click event where we will be actually putting together the code for saving to the phone gallery because these pictures are actually automatically saved inside the app's own storage so it doesn't mean that they're not saved they are saved and you can always access them using this image path okay and this is what i showed you in my previous camera app tutorial in which you can move forward and backwards and you know go through all your images taken by the camera component but you could not see those images inside the phone gallery okay so they are saved but they're saved in the app's own storage now this save button it will be copying them to the phone gallery okay so for that first of all i need to have a name for my new image hover over final image name and get the set block for it this is how it will be named in the phone gallery so it's basically a join of three things click on the cog wheel add another string to it and First is an empty text block that says, now this is important, especially this part, forward slash pictures forward slash, okay? Now, after that, you can write where the pictures are coming from. For example, they can be my camera pics, okay? And here is the timestamp. So how can I do that? If I go to clock, I have this format date time, okay? Here I'm going to change the pattern a bit. I'm actually going to make it then underscore And this requires the current time, the instant. So from clock, get clock dot now. And the last thing is your extension. So this is just an empty text block that says dot jpg. Okay. So this is my naming convention for the final image name. Next, we need to find the exact image name from the image path this image path returned by the camera component and if you have a look at it using a notify show alert it looks something like this so there's a file colon forward slash and onto this is something different for each app for a companion it will show the companions package and for your own app if it has been installed it will show your own package okay and then the last thing is app in underscore inventor and there's some digits a lot of digits about i think eight nine of them and then dot jpg so this is basically the file name okay this is the entire path and the last thing is the file name okay and we want to get this we are interested in getting this okay so how can we get that if we use the split block from text and split at these forward slashes then we will get a list as a result so let me show you how to do that first i need a temporary variable this is my temp list and from text i have this split block and i'm going to provide it my image path so this is my image path and I want it to be split at forward slashes, okay? So this, if you use the notifier to see what is in the temp list, 
it will look like this. So you can see that it has been split. It's a list and these are comma separated all the different items of the list. And you can see that the last item in this list is this. So we are going to construct its temporary image name by doing a join of two things. So the first is the same thing as this. So I can copy it from there. So this is important. So pictures. Okay. And then the last item in this list. Okay. So from lists get the select list item log and the list is the temp list and the index is the length of this list. So that will automatically give us the last item. So lists length of list. Okay. So this is the way of getting the last item in any list. Okay. So I will get the last item and I will join it before that the pictures and this way I will get the temporary image name. And now I just need to move it from this image name to this image name in a certain way. And that is the way of file, copy file. And as you can see, it returns something. I'm not interested in what it is returning as such. So what I'm going to do is that from control, I have this block ev evaluate, but ignore result. Okay. So that I'm going to use. And now from file scope app. So remember that our image, the camera images are stored with this file scope app. Okay. And we want to copy them now to the shared folder. So here it's going to become shared. And here, what comes from file name? So this is my temporary image name, okay? So variables, get block, temporary image name, right click, duplicate, and final image name, okay? So it will copy the file from here to here, okay? To the shared pictures folder. So this is very important that you construct image name properly okay so it expects that the temporary image name should look like forward slash pictures forward slash and then the image name okay so for moving or copying it needs the temporary image name to look exactly like this and that's how we constructed it okay so this is done. I mean, this is going to save the pictures to the phone gallery. If you test it right now, whenever you take a picture and you click on the save to gallery button, that picture will also come in the phone gallery. Okay. Now, if you want to delete the pictures taken by the camera component. So for that, let's get the delete button click event. So the delete button code is very similar to our save button code we just are interested in this part right click duplicate we are not interested in renaming the image okay so we can make do with the temporary image name but the important thing is that instead of copying the file we will be moving the file so we get it out of the app storage and we move it to the phone gallery and then we delete it okay so now it will not exist in the app storage and it will not exist in the phone gallery too. Okay. So that is what move, moving and then deleting will do. So from file, get the move file block and here it will stay app and this will become shared. So this is important. Temporary image name and right click and duplicate and a, the temporary image name. So here we are not interested in renaming the image file. We're just moving and then deleting. And the next thing is very important. Okay. If you miss this line of code, the deletion will not happen. So what you have to do is that you have to set your file scope to shared. Okay. And then you have to call file ones 
delete procedure and you have to provide it your temporary image name okay okay so it knows that because the file scope has been set to shared it will now delete this file from the shared folder okay and last just to verify that the deletion has been successful if you try now providing the old image path which contained the path to the image taken by the camera component and you will see that this picture will become empty there will be no picture shown and this is a sign that there is no image now present at this image path because we first moved the picture to the shared folder and then we deleted it from there okay another important thing is that if you click the save to gallery button first and then you press the delete button then you should not expect it to be deleted from the phone gallery okay because this save to phone gallery will make a copy of this image okay so the deletion will just delete it from the app's internal storage but it will not be deleted from the gallery because it exists there with a different name okay this final image name okay so i sincerely hope that this tutorial helps someone facing an issue in saving pictures to the phone gallery instantly or getting rid of pictures from the app's internal storage if you like this tutorial don't forget to give it a thumbs up also please subscribe if you like my work and if you don't want to miss the great projects that i have planned for you thank you for watching have a good day and goodbye